everyone and welcome all, welcome baby, to the People's Channel, Orchids for Dummies, yes! Now baby, in today's video, this is going to be an ongoing debate. As you know, we have been talking all about orchid fertilizing, okay? How to properly fertilize your orchids, but orchids for dummies, for new beginners, we're breaking it all the way down, honey. But in today's video, this is going to be a video for the big kids, for the grown people. Okay, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a grown people conversation. Someone that's been growing orchids for many and many years. We're talking all about urea. Urea. Stay tuned, baby. Now, many of you are new beginners like me, you're asking, well, what is urea? What is urea? Well, foul pal, Tracy, honey. Foul pal, Tracy, we're not talking about urine, okay? We're not talking about that yellow substance that comes from between your legs. No, ma'am, we're talking about urea nitrogen, okay? Now, remember, Orchids for dummies, breaking it all the way down. Honey, I was gone because I was on Facebook and we had been talking about this. Mama been in them books, okay? So, as I was saying, urea is a form of nitrogen. Now, the numbers on the front of the package, if you don't understand them, I will leave a link to that um, video in the info card above, baby. But, um, you know, NPK, nitrogen. Nitrogen is one of the most um, needed um, elements for your Phalaenopsis orchid because it's not something that is easily accessed from your tap water. Okay, foul pal. So, as I said, that old video, I will leave an info card above explaining the different forms of NPK. The N meaning nitrogen, okay? Nitrogen is the most needed or desired element for your Phalaenopsis orchid because it's not something that's easily obtained. And I'm going to try to make this make sense for us new beginners. Now, these orchids are epiphytic, meaning that they do not grow in soil. They do not grow in the potting mix from Walmart, honey. Okay? Now, on top, I have a layer of moss, but under it is going to be potting soil such as this. Now, when you have potting soil, and from reading and reading, and this is new tea, this is new information, but from all of my reading, especially sphagnum moss, now those type of mediums is something that can grow organisms, bacteria, okay? That's where you get your bacteria. All of my old videos, I said it get hot, humid, you get all of that good bacteria going on. That's, the, that's what we're talking about here on Orchids for Dummies. Now look, it's, it says that the spag moss, it retains water and nutrients for easy release without accumulating salts, encouraging strong and healthy root development. The robust structure is renowned for lasting longer. Now, this is where I have been messing up, foul pals. This is where I've been messing up. This sphagnum mouse is so much like soil because you know I said it greens up for you. Oh my God, stay tuned. I have an example, honey. Stay tuned. No judgment zone, okay? No judgments, no judgments. This is my orchid graveyard. Y'all know mama be cooking. And honey, sometimes she have to throw that hot grease outside, honey. I'm sorry. But, okay, okay, here we go. This is what I'm talking about, foul pals. You see how it greened up? That means that it turned alive, that it has actual organisms, um, a whole type of ecosystem in it, if you will. Now, this has been out here in the cold, the rain. It's been out here since December. Okay, foul pals? So it's going to be the same as this over here, baby. Now stay tuned. That's what I mean. Mama been in the books because I'm not trying to throw out a video just to get some views, okay? That's not what it's about. What I'm trying to do is effectively communicate with you guys in an entertaining way 
because I can't teach you something if I don't get your attention. So, Foul Pals, you have to watch these videos because all of this is going to play a part in maintaining a successful orchid. This is stuff that is crucial to know because I'm over-fertilizing. I've been over-fertilizing my sphagnum moss. That's a whole nother video. But as it said on the package, it will accumulate salts. Accumulate them. Now, foul pal Michael, this is why we need you to start doing videos. This is why we need you to be courageous and go ahead and get over your fear of the camera and go ahead and teach us. Because, baby, you're the one that knows you know it. And you're able to communicate it in a way to me that I'm able to receive it. So, as it pertains to the nitrogen, the urea is going to be a different form of nitrogen that's going to be something that's broken down over time. Because um, the Phalaenopsis orchid is something that grows its roots outside of soil. That makes it harder to obtain nitrogen in our environment. Because we have had some foul pals that has used just your all-purpose plant food. No, 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 no. Because it says that the total nitrogen is 12%. Ooh, excuse my nails. But it's 12%. And we can talk about all of them equations and all of that stuff if you want to. Leave those comments in the box below. But the total nitrogen is 12%. And so what they are saying, what the, on, the ongoing debate is, that when you fertilize your um, Phalaenopsis orchid in moss, or in bark, or in any type of media that is not going to break down and decompose, such as soil, that the you could fertilize it and the roots of the orchid will not even obtain it. It will not obtain it. Now it's making sense to me what foul pal Uncle Rick L was saying. When he, in that video, Understanding PH with Rick L. We want accurate information, the People's Channel. We want to know what's the best way to grow our Phalaenopsis orchid. So on my last video, which was just breaking down the NPK situation of it all, I referred to a website, um, Orchid Web. Now, OrchidWeb.com also has a YouTube page with about 7,000 subscribers. Now, I said about two, three weeks ago, based upon his information, I've subscribed. I haven't got a like, a comment, or anything of the sort. So, with that being said, he said that urea requires microorganisms to break down and convert it to nitrogen. Orchids in soil mixes, are there are not enough microorganisms to do the job. Ammonic and nitrate, nitrate nitrogen are immediately available to the plant. Depending on what part of the country you're in, how much sunlight you receive, and the temperatures, you may be able to get away with urea-based fertilizers. However, people we know who have switched up to urea-free have said they all get much better results. Urea-free, this is in quotations. Urea has been linked to pseudomonias, disease in Phalaenopsis orchids. Now, foul pals, with that being said, I put that information in my last video. As I said, Orchids for Dummies, the People's Channel, I get all of my information off of Google. Also, other foul pals in the YouTube Orchid Society. Also, with that being said, um, my last video, my foul pal, Michael McCarthy. Now, if you're new to the game and you're not a part of the YouTube Orchid Society, you might say, well, who is Michael? Foul pals, my foul pals, honey, the real, the people, 
Honey, I know you were like, oh my God, this video is boring me to death. But baby, I'm talking about something that is so controversial. And if you ever wanted to know whether or not the channel that you are watching is giving you the most accurate information, this is going to be a video you want to stay tuned to. This is going to be comments that you want to watch. This is going to be the video that you want to tell your Whoever your um, video hero is about this video, my YouTube hero is Miss Orchid Girl. That's who I want to be when I grow up because she always gives you accurate information. Her information is unparalleled <clears throat> to none other. You might have thought I was taking a break, but actually, I was in my Facebook group called Foul Pals. You speak another language? Facebook immediately translates that for you. Now, if you're like my foul pal, your niece, who says, well, I'm not on Facebook for X amount of reasons, foul pal Lorraine, my foul pal Lorraine, check her out in all of the comments below. She has created a Facebook account. She doesn't partake in Facebook outside of the group foul pal. That way she gets all of the exclusive content, darling. So, join in. It's just a support system of love. Michael McCartney, who is world-renowned. If you know anything about this YouTube game, he's world-renowned, darling. But um, he said on my last video, I'm a bit confused by the reasoning you have behind no urea. You said it causes an orchid transmitted disease called pseudomonia. Going out on a limb. I'm assuming you're talking about pseudomonas. And then basically brown rot infection. Say he do not record videos because he is tremendously camera shy. So, foul pals, if you would, just give him some kind of encouragement to let... Now, Foul Pal Michael, as I told you in my last video in the comments, that I'm not debating you. I would never ask for your credentials. Anything that you say, I would, I would um, take that as word. I would take that as biblical, if you will. And that's only because you. I know that you studied microbiology in college. And I know very much like my Uncle Rick L., who um who is an engineer you have to be able to understand for a balanced fertilizer you have to understand all of these micro elements and macro elements now foul pals i am doing this for you guys and i'm going to do my best to make it as simple as possible you have to stay tuned to this series now foul pal michael i told you you had me studying like crazy to get um, a conclusion to the video on urea, a topic that is so controversial in our community. I would love for any of you to reach out to Miss Orchid Girl and let her know that we need her, um, <clears throat> we need her precise opinion on this topic. She did some videos on urea back in the day, but she did not give us a definite um, conclusion as to whether we should use a urea free based or whether we should use urea. Now she is now um, sponsored by repotme.com. If anyone knows whether they promote urea free or um, fertilizer with urea in it, also leave that information in the comment box below. Orchid Whisperer. Honey, she had something to say, okay? All of my foul pals, honey, that are Orchid Whisperer fans, let her know about this video, honey. Let's see what she comes up with, okay? Now, she responded to a post that was made by a guy who is a um, member. Um, his name is Troy the Diver. He um, did a series going, doing the investigation that I just did, if you will. I'm not going to reference him. All I'm going to reference is our um, YouTube Orchid Society hero, Orchid Whisperer. And her name is Amy. Hello, Amy. Welcome to Orchids for Dummies. 
the People's Channel. Now, she said several years ago, Troy, this is exactly the way any question should be researched. You did your own due diligence looking at multiple viewpoints. I personally believe nitrogen can be utilized from many sources. From an evolutionary standpoint, it would make little sense for orchids, quote, which live in a nutrient-challenged environment in the trees, end quote, to turn around, to turn down nitrate in favor of urea, or to put it another way, to not use urea directly and instead preferring only ammonia or only nitrate. I have personally used urea-based fertilizers with good results. Now, that's what Orchid Whisper had to say. She said that she used it with good results. So, what we are asking of you, Amy, is could you um, give more in-depth information? Now, if I was to give an assumption, I would assume that, and this is from being a uh, um, subscriber of yours, I would assume that because you foliar feed your Phalaenopsis orchid, that that's the way that they are receiving urea. Now, me personally, doing my homework, looking in these books, in these streets, if you will, the information that I concluded was the urea that's used as a foliar feed, okay, used as a foliar feed, will absorb nitrogen a lot faster and a lot better than growing in the um growing in the, um substrate now i will leave the information to where i got my information from in the description box below but orchid whisperer you have been growing orchids for so many years please let's come to a conclusion on this urea or urea free Stay tuned, foul pals. Now, my foul pal, um, Michael, not Michael McCartney, but Michael's Orchids, um, he did a little experiment a few years ago about urea. And the only thing with his videos is that he did not give us a conclusion to it. Now, with it being years past since you have done that video, Michael, we would love for you to give us a conclusion. I also reached out to Michael to ask him if I could reference his video in this sweet topic. It's been a month and I have yet to hear from Michael. Yeah.